We're just two days away from one of the most anticipated boxing matches ever. The Mayweather Pacquiao fight is on Saturday and it's expected to draw record attendance, record viewers, and record revenue. Take a look at this. The estimated payout for pay per view is between $270 and $360 million. Ticket sales will generate $72 million. Broadcast sales, another $48 million. Sponsorships, $12 million. These numbers are unprecedented. Pacquiao's shorts alone will carry sponsorships worth more than $2 million, slightly more than the shorts I'm wearing. And prices offered for some online tickets have reached over $140,000 each. Rise News sports correspondent Andrew Rosario is in Las Vegas for the big fight and joins us now by Skype. Hi, Andrew. Do you have your $130,000 ticket? Uh, no, I'm actually going to send you uh, an invoice. And if we can improve uh, you know, the next couple of days, I, I might be able to sit ringside. <laughs> okay. Why is this fight considered to be the biggest in history? This is like, this is like an old-timers match. <laughs> Oh. Guys have basically been, and finally decided that. You know what? Can we uh, can we get uh, Andrew on the phone? I'm gonna see if we can grab Andrew on the phone. We seem to have some problems with the Skype. Or should we continue? Scott, Andrew, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, sorry about that. No problem. Uh, we had a little bit of a technical problem. Uh, you were saying about why this fight is so popular when it maybe is five years too late. Right. Um, again, like you said, it is five years too late. That's the prevailing sentiment about uh, among all the boxing fans. But both camps finally realized there was too much money at stake, too much money to lose for them not to fight. And it's evident in not only the ticket prices, but the pay-per-view prices that are being charged as well. I understand that the personal sponsorships are going to one fighter over the other. Mayweather has a slightly checkered past. Well, yeah, most of, the, um, most of that is going towards Pacquiao because... If you look at both fighters, he is more of the clean-cut um, reputation among both fighters. Mayweather has a very sordid past for, um, you know, abusing women. He spent um, 90 days in jail uh, for that, and a lot of the sponsors really don't want to go near him. But he's made so much money throughout the course of his career that um, really losing the sponsorship is not hurting him in the pocket I, And we all. have to remember that Pacquiao is a lawmaker in his home. Oh, they love Pacquiao in, in, in the Philippines. And the contingency of uh, Filipino people that are walking around Las Vegas is tremendous. So he's going to have a lot of support. Unfortunately, a lot of them won't be able to be inside the arena because the regular fans have been priced out. Yeah, I was going to ask uh, they, you. I was going to ask you about that. You know, there's there's been criticism of the NBA over the years that fans have been priced out, the NFL, et cetera. Isn't this, though, really a rich man's sport to begin with? You know, that's, that's what's going on in every sport if you look at it. And a lot of it has to do with the television revenues, has to do with the advertising revenues, and it has to do with the participants that are uh, taking part in, in, in these sports. Now, fights like Pacquiao and Mayweather don't come around very often. And at the end, it probably will go down as the biggest money-making boxing venture in the history of the sport. Let me give you. Let me ask you your analysis as a sports columnist. Biggest money-making uh, boxing match, best one. Um, yeah, I mean it's right up there. If you look at both fighters in terms of their styles, Pacquiao's a southpaw. Uh, Mayweather is a traditional fighter. Uh, both possess crazy hand speed and foot speed. Mayweather is such a tactical, a defensive fighter, and so. The thinking from the Pacquiao camp is to try to get him up against the ropes, cage him in, whereas Mayweather's going to counter that by keeping the fight in the middle of the ring and hoping that a Pacquiao will slip up and allow Mayweather to throw a right hand that could ultimately knock him out. What happens after this fight for these two boxers? Well, it depends on how it ends. Uh, if it's a close fight, of course, no matter who wins, there will be a rematch. If Mayweather dominates the fight, there may not be a rematch. And I believe that Mayweather has a clause in his contract that if he loses, uh, a rematch is automatic. Uh, and what are the odd makers saying? You are in Las Vegas. I'm sorry, Andrew? What are the odds makers saying? You are in Las Vegas. It's, it's, it's very close right now. It's almost 50-50. Um, so I have a feeling that at the end of the evening, uh, it will be one of the most exciting fights in recent history. And I can also see Mayweather winning 
by a decision, but I can see Pacquiao doing enough to win by decision as well. Andrew Rosario, you will be covering this for a rise throughout the weekend. Enjoy Vegas and enjoy the fight. Thanks so much, Andrew. We'll talk to you soon. Tomorrow on Arise Exchange, another sport, the NFL draft is underway. We'll take a look at the big bucks. The top recruits are expected to rake in and who's really going to be footing that bill. Let's take a look at the markets once again. Second straight triple-digit losses for the Dow, down 196 points. The Dow is now negative for the year. I'm Andrew Schmertz. Thanks for watching Arise Exchange. We'll see you here tomorrow.